Hello gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm, Fairy Vixen here, back again with a pile of jewelry. Now, here's the deal. Pretty sure, you remember how, like, the last few big lots that I got, the chains all seemed to be broken and had their, um, their pendants taken off? Well... Apparently, they were all in this box. So, we're going to start going through. And yes, Max is making noise. So, we're going to go turn the light off in the other room because everyone is asleep except for me. So, I'll be right back. So, yes, we have this gigantic pile of very small things, except for, <laughs> there's a couple really big things, too. Um, so, uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. I might have to shove all this back. Um, Alright, give me two seconds, I'll be right back. That's a bit... That's a bit better, I think. Alrighty. Uh, let me see. Do I need to turn this on? Yeah, we'll turn it on. And we're going to start off with this cute little turtle brooch. He's a brooch, and he's also a pendant, and he looks to be handcrafted. So he may or may not be sterling. I don't know if, see when I went and got this from my regular guy, he said he wanted to um, start from scratch and he just wanted to get rid of everything, so there may be some sterling in here, I don't know. But that's a cute one. Look at him, he's so cute. I put him in here. Oh, let's see. Let's get this out just in case we need it. And here is a cute little glass pendant. Black, red, and white and silver. Let me tell you, there's a ton of glass things in here. Look at this one. Lots and lots of glass. Oh, and check this thing out that I found in there. It's, um, it's a portable binocular. I mean, isn't that cool? That is so cool. <laughs> it has a focus wheel here. There we go. So that's an interesting vintage thing that I wasn't prepared for. <laughs> Pretty neat. So yeah, this is all um, going to be mostly brooches and there's a B brooch that is This is going to take me days and days to get through. Days and days. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video every other day so that I don't run through it too quick. This is an Anne Klein brooch. It is a B, a script B. It's kind of cool. I'm going to put him in here. And put the ones with names in there. And wait, where'd the other one go? What the heck? Oh there it is. I'm losing it, peoples. I'm losing it. 
Um, yeah, we're going to put mm, these guys in here. Okay. Here's one on, uh, on the card still. It's a really large scale cherub with a lyre. Isn't he cute? Cute, cute. Put him in there. Here's a really neat looking one. This almost reminds me of Danish stuff. Look at how it's constructed in the back. But it's a, I don't think it is. It's just a really cool looking. Looks like I'm going to have to put together some brooch lots and some pendant lots because, wow, what a huge pile of stuff. <laughs> and this one is President Ort. Wait. Esco. What the heck? I don't know what this means. Someone may have to um, edumacate me on that one. Oh, this is cute. It looks like it came out of something. Maybe we'll find that later. Here is a faux tiger eye ring. It looks to be really old. I mean, look at this this bit here. It has a mark. It's made in Germany. Isn't that pretty? I like that one. I might have to keep that one for me because it's just so different. It's bent all to heck too. I need to put it on my mandrel and fix it. Rings and things. Wait, where's my other bag? There it is. Put the rings in here. Oh my gosh. Beautiful sparkly circle pin. A little bit bent. No name on it. That's amazing. Here is a... Oh look. What the heck? This looks like it goes on a bolo, or it might go on a lariat, I don't know, it's different, little butterfly, I'm going to put that in with the pendants, because I think that's a pendant, and check this out, we got this one. It's got no name. Really large scale. But look, I have it in gold and I have it in silver. Almost looks like Pisces when you put it that way. <laughs> Those go in there. Here is a really cool one. Isn't she awesome? And she looks to be older. She's also been repaired. Made a pewter. Got a C clasp. I don't know if this is an old C clasp or just a replacement. But she always pretty though. She got a really shiny gem in her hair. Pretty. Oh, and I redid my nails. Blue. Blue. This is a very pretty. If I can get it to close. Fleur de lis with a purple stone in the middle. Really cute. It's got no name on it. Brochy brooch. Ooh. 
This is the one. This is the one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's not missing any stones at all, and it has. Come on. Let's show the people. It says Goro on the back. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I might need to put that in its own little bag so we don't lose any of it. Do I have any little bags over here? Yes. Yes, I do. Now, when I pulled all this stuff out of the box, I can't even tell you how filthy my hands got. So all of this stuff is going to need cleaned. Oh, yes. Yeah, you go in your own little bag because you don't want to lose any of that. Here's a gold tone and silver tone. Broachy brooch. Wait a minute. Come on. Open up. There we go. And there is no name on this that I can see anywhere. It's kind of cool. Good scale. I like the bigger ones for some reason. And then again, I like the little teeny ones too. This is a subscriber gift from the uh, magazine Birds and Blooms. I used to get it. I used to get it in the early in the late what was it the late nineteen hundreds? <laughs> I used to get this magazine because I was really into birding and gardening at the time. Uh, I could, my body won't let me do it now. My eyes first of all I can't bird because you gotta be able to see pretty good. And I can't see for sh do 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 that's a cute little pin, though. Pewter, but... I think there's another one in here that is a Birds and Blooms one as well. Oh! Oh! What? The heck? Alright, this goes in here. What does that say? TWC Sisters on the back. And this one says Monday. Monday. And it doesn't have the thingy on the back. It's missing the thingy. So we'll put that in crafts. And look at this guy. He's got a little movable head. He's so cute. But his plating is all off. I want to fix hands. He's so cute. Little puppy dog. My sister has Yorkies. She would love this one. I'll have to see if I can't replate that somehow. Look at this. It's black enamel. Fleur de lis. Black on the back. Come on, open up. Oh, you're one of those. One of those ones with a kit. Eh, I don't want to wreck my nails. I just did them. There we go. That's really cool. I like it a lot. There is no name on it anywhere. It does look vintage though. I think it looks very vintage. There's a lot of good vintage stuff in here. This one looks like it's uh, 
an artisan piece. It does have a mark on the back, 24 karat gold plate, and the initials GC. So I think that's definitely a handmade piece. It's very different. I like it a lot. But then, I like all of it. What's not to like? I mean, look. It's a little enamel piece with blingy rhinestone bits on the points. And it's got the faux, um, faux abalone in the middle. But it looks like a real leaf. It's really cool. And this has a little mark on the back. It is Liz Claiborne. Where is it? It's right here. Oh, come on. Show it. See? Yep. That one goes in here. She got a name. Here's a really cute um, faux scrimshaw. Pendant with it's like it's attached with two pieces, two points. Hello. What? Hello, hello, hello. <gasps> yawny, yawny. Okay. And here is a gold and silver tone. One of those knot guys. Doesn't have a name. No name. There's like onyx and silver. I don't know if it's silver or not. Might be, maybe, no. Nope, probably not. Pretty though. Ah, yes, I'll put that on my desk. Okay. This is funny. This is a little sombrero. Isn't that cute? It's a little hat. And it's this wire work stuff. It's kind of neat. It doesn't have a name on it, though. I'm very surprised. It does look vintage to me, though. Vintage, so we'll put it over here with the good things. Oh, look, we are going to Russia again. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> Here's a cute little guy. He's got an L in the middle. I don't know what the L stands for. It's got three, three little rhinestones down this way. And it's got four rhinestones, one in each leaf. That looks to be vintage too, but there's no name on it. <laughs> oh, look, more glass. Oh, look at this one. It's got lots of sparkles in it. Sparklies. I like the sparklies. Here's another glass one. Ooh, that's just screaming blue. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's the back. The back is probably like the back better than the front. You can't even see the blue in the front. Gold and silver with just a teeny bit of blue. Hmm. Don't know if I like that one. Here is a really cool brooch that looks like somebody made with pieces. No name. It's broke. It has no has no uh what do you call that sword? Doesn't have a sword, so that goes in the crafts. 
we need another cool one. This is a ring. And it is a looks like a Valkyrie to me. Wow, that's crazy. It's not a ring. It's not a ring. What is that? I don't think it's a pendant because it would hang like this. So we're not sure about that one, so we're going to put that in. We're going to put that in crafts, too. I'm not sure if that's silver or not. I don't think so. Here is a little bracelet with... It's one of those magnetic ones with the magnets in the middle. Not bad, not bad. This looks to be from the back. Uh, you can't really see the patterning, can you? Let's see. That is 1928. That's a really pretty 1928. It's got red, red and black stones. You can hardly see the red. It's too, uh, it's too dark. There you go, you can see it a little now. Isn't that pretty? 1928. Here's a lovely little maple leaf. Gold or, or silver tone laid over gold tone. No name. That's a cool one too. So many. Oh, that's a cool Earring. Oh, it's got a name on it. I think it's Monet. Yep. It's a Monet earring. Maybe we'll get lucky and find the other one. I think I did pull the other one out, too. Look at this one. Angel wings. Pendant with a very sparkly heart. That's cool. That goes in there. Here's a dyed howlite bracelet with some silver tone beads. Cute. Cute. That's not too bad. I like that. Here is a, I'm pretty sure this is an Avon smelly thing or lip gloss or something. Hold on. Oh, yep. Look at that. It's lip color and it's got Avon on it. What do you do with these? Like I have a couple that are, I have a ring that's full of scent. Like scent pomade. So, if anybody knows what the best way to deal with these is, let me know. Let me know. Here's a very nice look at the back. You can tell this is a newer one. It's a bit, of, it's a sparkly one. You need to have a need to put a pearl right in the middle there. So that needs repaired. Some of these I'll repair. Here's another one that needs a pearl. It almost looks like the pearl is still there, but it's not. So that is a beautiful little bee. He doesn't have a name. But boy, is he gorgeous. Look at that. Is that a bee or a fly? I think that's a fly. He's pretty. I like the bugs. Here's another bug. He's a... Enamel bee. Enamel bee with no name on him. Let's put him in here. 
Here is a little elephant. The elephant. Um, it's faux cloisonne. It's just uh, enameled. It is painted nicely, though. Isn't it pretty? Put that in there. And here I am almost certain this is sterling silver because of this work here. So we'll put that aside for testing. Oop, nope, can't pull that up. This is really awesome. It's a real big bar pin. And it has a name on the back, and I'm pretty sure that the name is Oscar de la Renta, which, if, if you're familiar, yep, I recognize the font. It's very hard to read, but the font is correct. You can see the O and the R pretty clearly. Please let me know if you don't think I am correct in my assumption. Uh, yeah. It really is pretty. We have a huge pile of things here. Look at that. Beautiful little pendant. And it's actually a, one of these guys. It's an enhancer. Let's see if there's any little letters in here anywhere. No, there's nothing. I'm very surprised by that. It's really nicely made. Such a pretty color, too. It's not very big, so it would go on a small strand of something. this. This is an Avon piece. I sold one like this in the Zircon color. This is the uh, Amethyst color. It's a little bit bent. I'm going to have to fix it. It is an Avon piece. No, no, it's not Avon. It's Sarah Coventry. I knew it was one of those. Um, but yeah, I sold another one like this. This one needs to be cleaned. But it's really pretty. I forget what this is called. I think it's called Heart to Heart. And it comes in all of the uh, birthstones. And it also, there's a pendant, I think. And a brooch. I've only ever found the rings, though. So that's cool. Put that in there. And we're getting close to the end here. We're at 29. Here is a cute little Siamese cat. He's missing his other blue eye. That may or may not be able to be fixed. He doesn't have a name on his back. But he really is cute. Enamel. Little steel points are Siamese. Put him in there. Here's a very large ring that has some stones in it, but I don't know if it's supposed to have more stones in it. It only has the two. It has a green stone and a red stone, so I don't know. 
316L it says inside. I don't know what to do with that. I'll put that in the ring bag for now. We're at 30. Look at this one. We'll end with real sparkly, sparkly one. Really nice. Really nicely made. It's got the V on the back. I don't know what brand this is, but it's gorgeous. And it's really soft. It's like it bends very easily. So, I don't know. It's gorgeous, though. People can see. Here's a little black eyed Susan. Adorable. No name on the back. That is beautiful, though. That's, that's. I used to I used to grow these in my garden. Yes, indeed. We're at thirty-one. I want to thank you for being here. Here's a little enamel fish, articulated, articulated. He's cool. Very neat. But as you can see, by the size of the things I've been showing you. How large of a pile is that? This is going to take us a couple of weeks. Especially if I'd only do them every other day. So, please leave a comment down there. I love reading your comments. Um, check out my pop-up that I did the other day. And remember, I love you. And be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.